was in a church in in Spain, and um, there was a, a moment of complete silence that occurred in that church. I had a deep realization, a deep connection with myself, and and within that connection with myself, it felt like I was connected to everything and everyone. And I thought, okay, I have my my title for the next album I will write. Where did I go? Where did I go? I was running. I was running. I was running away. I was running away. Where did I go? Where did I go? I was hiding. I was hiding. I was hiding away. Indeed, uh, this experience of silence was very personal, but I thought it was there was something very political. There was a political nature in in what happened. I think the problem today is that uh, we are heavily influenced by society and by the capitalist world, but we have problems influencing it back you know, in our own individual ways. And that's where I want to explore, you know, is, is how, how did this break down, this relationship from, from ourselves back to society, and how a lot of us feel really alienated in our lives. Why did I go? Why did I go? Silencio, the album, is about this, because I also feel that, well, okay, we could go out there and have a revolution and throw hand grenades and stuff, and throw the government outside the windows. Perhaps we could do something like that, but I think um, there would be more of an impact if, if people were more connected to themselves, and how they, I mean, we, because I include myself in that, you know, and how we love ourselves, how I love myself, how you love yourself. I didn't write the songs in Sterilab, I wrote the lyrics and I always wanted to write songs. So I was pretty frustrated, creatively frustrated in, in this band, though I love the music, you know. So in 96 or thereabouts, I, I started my own project called Monad. We had several members in Monad and the idea was that people could not play their instruments too well, but they wanted to do this. And you know, and, and back in the 90s, it was, there was a lot of that going on, you know, to, uh, if you wanted to do something, that was the indie, the indie movement, you know, so, yeah, do it, you know, you don't have to be a god, a technical goddess, <laughs> you know, just do it. Mirage, reflected back from 
society What I live The breach between Rolls forced to take on Reality What I am We're going to be handed a role, you know, a role to play. Like you as a woman and as a white, you know, woman of 30 years old, you're going to be given a role to play. And that can be very alienating in itself because there is much, much more to you than just this, this tiny role. If the breach doesn't express itself Or if there's no gist to create one's I think that's why um, adolescence exists and, you know, being 20, that's usually when it's going to happen, when you feel like this role is just too narrow for really your potential, you have to rebel and you have to go no and go, you know, and break out of the box. So it's a song about people who haven't broken out of the box, you know, and they're 50 now and they feel they totally missed their lives. They feel they fucked up their lives because at some point they never said, no, I'm not going to do what you say. <laughs>